हेलो एंड नमस्ते एवरीवन दिस इज मी श्रुति राना मगर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल कोड विथ श्रुति इन टूडेज ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए लॉग इन फॉर्म यूजिंग सीएसएस सो बेसिकली सीएसएस स्टैंड्स फॉर कैश कैरिंग स्टाइल सीट एंड इज ए स्टाइल सीट लैंग्वेज यूज फॉर डिस्क्राइबिंग द लुक एंड फॉर्मेटिंग ऑफ अ डॉक्यूमेंट रिटर्न इन ए मार्कअप लैंग्वेज लाइक एस टी एम एल एंड इट कैन इंटायरली चेंज योर वेबसाइट लुक्स without changing your html coding and that's the amazing thing about using css now this is the login form that we are going to create in today's video and i'm going to show you how you can create exactly same this login form using html and css furthermore i'm going to show you uh, the difference of using html plus css and using just html how it looks how it gonna look i'm going to show you the comparison so without doing further delay let's get started firstly i want you to create a folder and name it as any i'm naming it as project because it's a small project for me to create a login form now we are supposed to write html coding for that you can use any text editor i am using notepad plus plus because um, you can have line numbering and syntax highlighter and that's amazing thing so now save it is save it to the um, folder that we have created and named is project so name it is index.html now let's write some html coding uh, to create a form and if you remember from my beginning videos from if you remember from my previous videos on html beginners i have mentioned that every element that you open in html needs to be closed so here i am opening html closing it html and head opening head closing head opening body closing body that's all and h1 login form now we are going to create a form so we are obviously going to um, use the form uh, form tag and uh, about the value of action and method don't need to worry because it's something uh, something to do deal with server side and we will be discussing about this in future video now let's label use label for username and make it bold now input type so obviously type is going to be a text we are specifying input type text <clears throat> name we should not be worry about name as well now placeholder uh, enter your name now copy it and make it for password just edit and we are done we have written in the place of placeholder please enter your password now it's time for login button so button type equals to submit value equals to login and then we are going to write a login in capital form it looks more attractive so i am doing it you can write it in small as well close the button now let's come here and write some coding for checkbox that is going to be for a remember if you want your passport to be remembered or not for that purpose we are going to use a checkbox checked equals to checked remember me okay now let's make another button copy it and paste it for a cancel cancel button you know we are going to create a cancel button as well edit it and make cancel so type equals to we are going to specify button because it's a button now we are going to create a link also because if the particular user forgot his or her password then they are supposed to visit this link and we are not going to link linkedin actually in this tutorial but maybe in future tutorial we are obviously going to do that so open anchor tag and close this is the coding once you don't save it here we go this is the you know result of our html coding 
just html that is looking so sort of and if you want that fields to ask for um, input necessarily then you are going to use the required keywords in input fields so now if you log in without entering anything then you are that browser is going to ask you this is required this is required so that keyword is crucial if you want that kind of effect in your website or login page or any form any form literally any form not only login form any form you can use that so now it's time to style it using css and save it in the same folder named project name it is style.css set a border to form and let me tell you one thing every tax in a html can be used a selector in css and that's amazing thing you know so everything so we are going to use form as a selector here and in between uh, skewz bracket we are going to specify the border three pixel solid and this is a color hex code i'm using this is amazing color i'm in love with this color so next styling we are going to do is i'm writing here um, comments so that it will be easy for you to understand and it will be easy for me also to explain with you assign full white to the input elements so what are the input input elements here first is in text and next is password i mean username and password so we are going to specify input type equals to text that is for username and input type equals to password that is for password So, start is QZ bracket in between that. Let's specify width 100%. Padding 12 pixel, 20 pixel. 12 pixel is for uh, top and bottom and um, 20 pixel is for right and left so padding is usually the uh, you know is space between the border and the text basically so margin we are giving 8 pixel and 0 display inline block so it is, it is going to respect both the uh, width and height that we specify it will be you know combination of inline and block and that's amazing thing we can use it like it also box sizing and we want borders border boxing once it's done let's save this and come to the server side no any change is being what happened anyway i have a surprise for you it is not going to work until you write a single line coding inside his section that is we need to link our style sheet document to our html and that is that can be done with single single line of this coding link real equals to style sheet type equals to text slash css and in href we are going to address our style sheet that is style sheet dot style dot css i'm sorry save it and come to the server side oh you know now it is working so that is a crucial part of linking between html and css document now let's write some other coding to set a style for our buttons that is we have two buttons login and cancel and we are also going to do further um, for the styling for our cancel button 
I have said you that we can use HTML elements as a selector. So we are using button here as a selector. And we are specifying background color. That is also in a hex code and that is a green color. And just color, color we are specifying white. Just color means actually text color. And in CSS we don't need to specify like text color like how we specify background color. But you need to remember just a color means we are specifying a back, we are specifying a text color. So just keep that in mind. We are specifying margin, cursor, pointer, 100% width, save it, come to server site refresh it here you go we have got a nice you know yeah it is nice color green and i have said you we are going to do further editing for our cancel button now anyway let's do something more on button let's say the hover effect and that is going to be like double colon and hover and we also this is hover is called pseudo code so we are going to set opacity 0.8 that is like transparency whenever we hover you can see it is being transparent let's set for instance let's set full opacity that must be you know fully transparent see it can be used for some other purposes but now let's set it back to 0 0.8 and save it Now let's set some extra rule and for that we need to create a class inside button cancel button. So na just name it as cancel btn that will be easy to remember. We uh, you know if we create some class then we can easily um, use that by you know adding dot in front of that class name and then we can style that according to our desire yeah inside the squeezy bracket let's write some coding css coding okay width we want 100 percent oh no width we want auto now adding 10 pixel and 16 pixel i've said you the first value is first value denotes top down and second value denote left right always remember that thing so here we go we have got a red color beautiful color cancel means red that's amazing okay now we are going to create um, we are going to divide our um, you know form and that is going to do with the div element and let's set class is a container we are going to make two section and that is going to do with a div element now let's close it right here now let's create another div and let's and you can create you can use class multiple time and that's amazing thing about css you do not need to write coding you know again and again you can reuse it by creating the same class like we are doing here we are creating class container again so this um, whatever we will um, do coding for container that is going to be applied for both container and you know that will be very easy and that is going to save our time now let's go to the style sheet after closing it now set padding for our container you can see that it's stick to our browser so we need some padding there you know dot container because and always remember you are supposed to use dot in front of your class name otherwise it's not going to work let's keep padding 16 pixel save it Con come to the server side wow it's looking amazing you can see the 16 pixel padding in both 
now let's set uh, forget passport now we are using span that is similar to div but it is uh, implemented inside a html element it's a smaller version of div you can say span and then give a class equals to psw forget and we also need to close this span obviously because it's html element and everything should be closed come to styles it and span dot psw and make sure there will not be any space between span and psw i mean span or any element and class name now let's specify specify float right we want our forget text to stick to right to our browser padding top 16 pixel we want padding top 60 pixel 16 pixel okay now let's come to the server side you can see our forget text is stick to right side of our browser set style for span and cancel button on a smaller screen and that's something related to media queries so we are going to write at the rate media only screen and the value with max width 600 pixel something that have smaller than 600 pixel uh, screen then these things are going to be apply it and one more thing the the thing that you used inside media query should be already mentioned in style sheet coding for instance span.psw is already mentioned above and cancel button is also already mentioned above if not then it's not going to work that's the key point and i want you to remember this okay so this is the login form that we have created um, using html and css and it's looking you know awesome because when if you remember how it was looking without css and how it is looking now it there is a huge different thank you so much everyone for watching my video don't forget to like comment share subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss any update thank you bye bye everyone